Hey guys, this is Christina from Craft Muse, and today's tutorial is for this little chick with his egg. And you can take him out. So this is what he looks like if you take him out of the egg, and he's just like a little ball of fluff. So this, of course, is going to be the most time-consuming part because he is all wrapped bands. But since he is so small, it's really not going to take that long. So this is a pretty simple um, design overall. Um, it's not hard at all and even if you don't want to make the egg you could just make the little chick he will fit in little Easter eggs if you want to put him in a regular like plastic Easter egg so choose your colors that you want to use for your egg today I will not be doing any kind of pattern or anything I'm just gonna make a um, an egg mixed with um, the glow pastel colors and then um, you'll need some color for the chick so whatever color you, you guys decide to use for that so you want to get those ready and I will have a um, band count in the description box below and stuffing is not necessary this little chick will hold his um, shape without stuffing but if you do want to add a little bit of stuffing you can feel free to do that I did add some stuffing to mine but if you don't have stuffing, this is good because you don't really need it. Um, the wrap bands and because it's such a smaller um, size loomigurumi, it will pretty much hold its shape pretty well without the wrap bands. And of course you don't need stuffing for the egg. So you also need something for the eyes. I used 6mm safety eyes for mine and I'm going to be using them again today. Um, however, you can use like beads so you could use either let's say the nine millimeter pony beads which are like the regular size or we have the four millimeter is it four millimeter I don't know the smaller pony beads that you can use as well um, or you could use wrap bands or if you have like little small buttons you could use that or any other kind of beads like round black beads or you know anything that you guys have in your home and of course you'll need your crochet hook or rainbow loom hook and then you'll also need a seed clip or a stitch marker so let's get started on this little guy here as you can see his little eggshell you can actually just go ahead and attach that to his head if you want it to stay on a little better but I did not attach mine I might do that later so we're going to start off with the egg. So if you decide to skip the egg part, you can just skip on down to um, the part of the video where I start making the chick. So we're going to start off with the bottom part of the egg. And like I said, I'm just going to mix all these colors up. I'm not doing any kind of specific pattern today. But if you guys do decide to do like stripes or any kind of patterns or anything like that, just make sure that you do your color changes um, every time you switch colors. If you want. It's up to you. So the first thing that we want to do to start the egg off is a magic ring with six stitches in it. So I'm going to take my first band and wrap it around my hook twice so that I have three loops on my hook. Then I'm going to take another band and pull this capping band on. Slide it towards the center and then you're just going to push that band down on your hook and reclaim the other end. And you're going to slide this first band underneath this one, kind of like we're creating a slip knot, but you're going to keep it nice and loose, so don't pull that tight. Then you're going to stick your hook back into the capping band and you want to make sure that you go through all three loops of that capping band so you should have your cap band and then you have this band over here you're going to grab another band pull the capping band on Whoops. and then leave this band over here alone and just reclaim the other end and then you're going to slide this under these two just like that. So that's stitch two. We need to do four more. So through the cap band, up onto your hook, and slide under. Again, cap band, slide up, slide under, and again. 
again. <laughs> Cat band up, slide under, and one more. So through the capping band. Slide under. So you should have six stitches in your magic ring and it should look something like this. So your stitches are going to be those little V shapes on the side. So if you count them, you have one, two, three, four, five, and then the band that's on your hook also counts as a stitch. So that is number six. So you want to put your C clip or your stitch marker on that band that's on your hook. For row two, we want to increase around in the six stitches. So by doing an increase, we will end up with 12 stitches after this round. So an increase is basically just putting two single crochets in each stitch around. So I'm going to go into my first stitch, grab a band, bring it through the stitch only, and up onto my hook, and slide under. I'm going to go back into that first stitch and do the same thing again. So through the stitch, up onto my hook, and slide under. So that was my first increase. I'm going to do the same thing all the way around in each stitch. So here's my second stitch. So there's one single crochet. I'm going to go back in. And two. Continuing on to row three, or stitch three. There's one. Go back in. going until you get to the end. So there's one. Go back in. Two. One. Go back in. Two. Now my last stitch. I'm going to just take my C-clip out just because it gets in the way. one, go back in, and two. So you should now have 12 stitches right now. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So I recommend that you count after every row that you do, even if I um, forget to count for you guys. Um, I just recommend double checking before you start on the next row, just because if you accidentally um, get the number wrong then you're gonna have to turn around and take things apart and start over again so sometimes you get like further along and you completely forgot to keep count and then you're like totally off so you have to figure out how far you need to go back to fix it up so um, okay now we want to do row three so we have 12 stitches right now we want to do um, a pattern so that we end up with 16 stitches so we need to do a single crochet, a single crochet, and then an increase. And then we'll keep repeating this pattern around until we end up with 16 stitches. So my first stitch is going to be a single crochet. My second stitch is going to be a single. And my third stitch will be an increase. So there's one. Go back in and two. Okay, I'm going to go back to my single crochets. So there's one. Go to your next stitch and do another single. And then your next stitch will be an increase. So there's one. Go back in. And two. Now we want to do two singles, so there's one, go to your next stitch, and then the next one will be an increase. Go back into that stitch, now we do single, single, And then an increase. So 
right? So you should now have 16 stitches. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Go ahead and place your C-clip in the band that's on the hook. For our next row around, we want to have end up with 20 stitches. So we want to do three single crochets and then an increase. So single, 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 increase. And then just keep repeating that around until we end up with 20 stitches. So single, 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 and then an increase here. So there's one, go back in, and two, and then single. Single, single, and then an increase, and then single, single. Single, increase, and let's repeat that pattern one more time. So, single, let me get my camera focused, <laughs> single, single, and then the last one will be an increase. Okay, now you should have 20 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Go ahead and place your C-clip in. Next, we are on row five, and we want to do four single crochets and then an increase. So then we end up with 24 stitches. So single, 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 and then an increase. And then just keep repeating that around. So there's one. Two. Three, four, and then an increase. Go back to your pattern. Just one, two, three. Four, and then an increase. Back to your singles. So there's one, two, three, four. Then an increase. And then we'll repeat that pattern one more time. So one, two, wait a minute. Okay, not sure what happened there, but I was going to end up with the wrong amount of stitches. I must have skipped one. So I'm going to work on the last part. So four single crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
to three, four, and then an increase. Why don't you guys stop me and tell me that I missed a stitch? Just kidding. <laughs> I wish you guys could though. <laughs> That'd be nice. No, 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 go back. You missed one. Alright, so now you should have 24 stitches around. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So what's next? Now we are going to be doing three rounds of just single crochets around in the 24 stitches. So I'll do the first one with you and then you guys can go ahead and pause the video and do the additional two rounds. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're just single crocheting around, no more increases. So let's just do our singles. I'm on a roll here. Last night I filmed my bunny tutorial and now I'm filming this one so I'm going to have them out before Easter. Doesn't leave you much time to make them but at least I got them out. So I'm going to give myself a pat on the back. I'm like trying to get like all this stuff done before the weekend because my family is coming to visit from Arizona and we are going to Disneyland this weekend so that will be super fun. I always love Disney and my four-year-old has never been yet so that will be exciting to see if he enjoys it or if he doesn't. It's always sometimes it can be a disappointment because you get all excited and pay all this money and then you get there and they hate it or they don't enjoy themselves because well, I don't know they're too young but I think he's at a good age so we shall see I'm crossing my fingers that he loves it Should be interesting being there on Easter. Okie dokie. So here's my last one here. You should still have your 24 stitches. Now what you want to do is just go ahead and pause the video and do two more rows around in the 24 stitches. And then we will continue on with the rest of this. There we go. I did my two additional rounds and we can now move on to row 9. So we want to start decreasing from 20 to 20, 24 to 20. So we will be doing four single crochets and then a decrease. And then we'll repeat that all the way around and we should end up with 20 stitches. So single, 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 decrease. So let's do that. So here's single, single, single. Single. And now I want to do a decrease, so I'm going to pick up the front loop of this next stitch and the stitch next to that. So instead of going through the whole stitch, I'm just going to be picking up this front loop here. So the front loop of that stitch and then right next to that. So I'm picking up the front loop of the next one. I'm going to grab a band and bring it through these two stitches only. Reclaim and slide under. So that is a decrease. Now I'm going to repeat the pattern. So here's single, 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 
a single and then a decrease, so front loop of the next stitch and the stitch next to that. Bring your band through the first two loops, reclaim, and slide under. Back to the singles. So there's one, two, three, four, and then a decrease. And then we'll do the pattern one more time. So there's one, two, three, four, and then a decrease. So you should now have 20 stitches. So now what we want to do is single crochet around the 20 stitches. But as we're doing that, we will be adding two chains for um, just follow along with me. Every two stitches we will be adding two chains to to kind of make it like a with the little triangles at the top. So I'm going to do that for my first stitch. So I'm going to go into my first stitch. I'm going to do a single crochet. And then to this band I'm going to add a chain. So there's one and then another one and two. Then I'm going to move on to my second stitch and I'm just going to do a single crochet. Now I'm going to do two single crochets. So there's one and two. Now on my next one I'm going to do a single crochet and then add two chains. So there's one then I'm going to go to my next stitch and single crochet that. Then I'm going to do two single crochets. So there's one and two. This next one I'm going to add a chain two, so a single crochet and then one chain. Two chain and go into my next stitch, do a regular single crochet, and then I'm going to do two more single crochets. So there's one and two. Next one, I'm going to do a single crochet and add chains. So there's one. So I guess it's really just every other three, but I mean, the, I don't know, I, I don't know. Yeah, let's just, for like, just to make it easier on you guys, it's three stitches. So once you do the chain, you're going to go to the next stitch and do a single crochet. And then you're going to do another single crochet another single crochet, so that's three. And then you'll go into the next stitch and do your single crochet with the chain. So there's one and two. And then we're just gonna single crochet to the end. Single crochet. Single crochet. And the last one here. So I guess I should have written that it's every other three. 
So once you do that, then you can go ahead and just fasten this off. So I'm just going into the stitch and grabbing the band and bringing it through all the loops. And I'm going to tie that into a knot. Yeah, it's kind of hard to make like the cracked egg look with Lumigurumi. I'm sure there's a better way to do it. So then I want to take this band and hide it. So I'm going to be using the um, bands on the inside to kind of tuck it in. So I'm just going to bring that through. And then probably do that another time. So go through some more stitches. And bring that through and that should be good enough so just like that and I am going to adjust what this says two three I apologize for that guys this seems to be a regular occurrence having to fix my mistakes on camera. <laughs> Let me do that for this one as well. This is for the top of the eggshell. So every other three. Okay. So that is just the part of the egg that your chick is going to go in. Now let's make the top part. So we want to start off with a magic ring with six stitches in it. So we're going to do that. There's one. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. So you should have your six stitches around. Next for row two, we want to increase in each of the stitches so that we end up with 12. So two single crochets in each stitch around. So an increase here in our first stitch. And then an increase in our second stitch. So if there's one single crochet, go back in. And two. Increase in our third stitch. So there's one, go back in. And two. Increase in our fourth. So there's one. Go back in. Two. Increase in the fifth. So there's one. Go back in. Two. And then our last stitch here, we need to do an increase. So there's one. Go back in. And two. So you should have 12 stitches now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And I'm going to go ahead and place my C-clip or stitch marker in the band that's on my hook. The next row around we want to do a single crochet, a single crochet, followed by an increase so that we end up with 16 stitches. So we're just going to repeat that around. So just like we did at the beginning of the egg. So single, single, and then an increase. So there's one, go back in, and two. And all my singles again. So single, single, and then an increase. Go 
go back to your singles. Single. Single. Increase. And then we'll do that pattern one more time. Single. Single. And then an increase. Now you should have 16 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Place your C-clip. And now we want to do row 4, which we are going to be doing 3 single crochets and then an increase. Repeat that till you end up with 20 stitches. So repeat that all the way around. So 3 single crochets, increase. Let me see here. Okay. So there's one. Two. Three. And then an increase. Back to your singles. So there's one, two, whoop, that's not the right color, <laughs> two, three, <clears throat> increase, And one more time. One, two, three, and then an increase. Now we have twenty stitches. And the next row around is going to be like we ended the egg with. So we're just doing single crochets around, but for every three stitches, we're going to be adding the two chains too. So we're, the first stitch, we're going to start off with the single crochet. And then I'm going to add a chain. And then another chain. Okay, now I want to do three single crochets, so there's one, two, three, next one I'm going to add a chain, so there's single crochet, chain, chain, now three single crochets, so there's one, two, three, next one we'll have the chain, so single crochet, chain, chain, and then three single crochets. So if I happen to be going too fast or too slow for you guys, there's one, hold on, <laughs> hold that thought, two, three, then you guys can always feel free to fast forward, pause, rewind, whatever um, helps you out the most. Um, I think I'm going a little fast in this video, but... If you're having problems, you can always refer to these cards if, like, I'm going too fast. Um, 
And that's why I have these cards out for you to use. Um, and of course, YouTube is great because you can always rewind it, repeat it, um, fast forward it, whatever you like. Okay, so we did our three. So our next one is going to be the single crochet with the chains. So you lose two and then three single crochets. So there's one. Two, three, and then the single crochet with the chains. One, two, and then just three single crochets. To that stitch and tie off. And then you'll have to hide that band. Okay, so there's our little eggshell top. You can set that aside. Next, we want to start working on the chick. So grab whatever colors that you want to use for your little chick. And let's go ahead and make the wings and the beak first so that we'll have those ready. And then we can start doing the body etc. Alright, so for the wings, let's start making that. So we want to start with two bands. So whatever color you're making your tick, start off with two bands and you want to wrap them around your hook twice. And then you want to take two more bands and put that capping band on. And then just center that. And we're going to take two more bands. And I'm just going to slide this one onto this band. So I'm leaving this one alone here. So I'm just sliding that on and reclaiming onto my hook. Now what you want to do is grab this and you're going to pull it off your hook. So just try to hold it so that it doesn't come undone. And you're just going to switch it around. that and then we're going to grab two more bands and put these on this band these bands here so just this on this band so that you end up with that now what you want to do is slip knot two body color bands together And then you want to just put this on your hook and slide this on. And for now, I am going to take these and lightly slip knot these just so it holds on. Because it kind of wants to fall off. So I'm just going to just slip knot it together for now just to kind of hold them together until we use it to tie off later. So let's make the second one. So two bands wrap around once and twice. Grab two more bands, slide this capping band on, and reclaim. Grab two more bands, and we're just going to slide this first, these first two loops, and reclaim. 
Now we want to take this off, turn it, and put it on your hook. Grab two more bands and put these first two loops on. Just like that. And you're going to take a slip knotted, two slip knotted bands, slide these on, and then loosely slip knot those together. So you can set that aside. Those are the wings. Now for the beak, we're going to take two. I'm just using those like baby, these sweets, orange, whatever they're called. So just wrap it around your hook, let's see, three times. And then you're going to take two more bands and double loop those. And slide that capping band on. Try to center that. And then you're going to take two of your body color bands and slip knot those together. And we're just going to slide this beak onto that. Just like that. And you can set that aside with your wings. Now we can actually start on the body. So, like I said earlier, these are all going to be wrap bands, even for the magic ring. So it is a little bit more difficult to see what you're doing when you're doing the magic ring with the wrap bands. So if it's easier for you to use your loom, you can go ahead and do that. Um, because it can be kind of hard to tell which one is the capping band and which one is the wrap band. So I can show you guys how to do on your loom or anything that has like pegs. So if you take your first band, we want to make a magic ring with six stitches. So you take your first band and wrap it around that peg two times to create your three loops like usual. And you're going to stick your hook through and you want to add a wrap band so wrap it around once just like that grab another band put on your hook bring that wrap band over and you're going to bring your hook through this capping band reclaim the other end onto your hook and then slide under And you can push that aside and you want to do this until you have six stitches so you want to do this six times so stick your hook into the peg I mean the capping band make a wrap band take another band slide that wrapping band on wrapping band <laughs> that wrap band on and then put bring your hook through the capping band reclaim the other end and slide under these two bands and then just keep going around till you have six and it's a lot easier for me just to do this by hand so we need to do four more so I'm going to stick my hook through the cap band I do my wrap band then my regular slide the wrap band over go through your cap band reclaim and slide under. So this is four. six and just fix 
fixing these up. They got a little twisted. So this is what you should have here. Even though there's drop bands on there, you can still see your six stitches that you have. So the next row around, we want to increase so that we end up with 12. So we're going to do increases in each of the stitches. And remember, each crochet you do has to have a wrap band on it. So I'm going to stick my hook into my first stitch, grab a band, wrap it around. Another band, slide the wrap band, go through your stitch, reclaim, and slide under. I need to go back through my first stitch and do the same thing. That was my first increase. Now I'm going to go to my second stitch and do the same thing. There's one. I'm going to go back in. Two. I'm on my third stitch. One, go back in. And two. Now I'm going into my fourth stitch. I'm on my fifth stitch. Uh oh. Good thing I was keeping count because my C clip fell off. stitch here. Okay. So you have this when you're finished, and you should have 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Go ahead and place your C clip on. Our next row around for row 3 is going to be a single crochet followed by an increase. We'll keep repeating that pattern until we end up with 18 stitches. Again, wrapped bands, wrap bands all around. So single crochet. Ah, I just put on lotion, so single. And then our second stitch will be an increase. There's one. I'm gonna go back in. Do another one. Okay, our third stitch is going to be a single. Then our next stitch will be an increase. in. Sorry, this is a little slow with the wrap bands. 
Now we're going to do a single crochet. And then we're going to do an increase. And then a single. And then an increase. Increase a single. And then I'm going to end with an increase. Go back in. Okay, so that is the end of row three and you should have 18 stitches in your round. Now we can work on row four and five and those are just going to be single crochets in the 18 stitches but you have to remember to put your wrap bands in. So let's go ahead and do that. I will do the first row with you and then you guys can pause the video and do the second row. So just single crochets around And they apologize if my finger gets in the way too much. It's because I have once I wrap it around the hook, I have to hold it because it will pop off if I don't. And it kind of just gets in the way. All these wrap bands get in the way. But we have to give our chick some little fluffy feathers. He can't be a naked little chickadee. Well, I guess he could. Just be like a little yellow ball.
last one is here. Now you guys can go ahead and pause and complete one more round just like this. And I will see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, I've done my additional round. Now we can move on to row six in which we will be doing four single crochets and then a decrease. Keep repeating that all the way around. So single, 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 decrease, and then keep repeating that. Again with the wrap bands. So there is a single, so there's one. Here's two. Three, and four. Then we want to do a decrease, so we're going to pick up the front loop of the next stitch and the front loop of the stitch next to that. Still grab your wrap band, bring it through those two loops up onto your hook and slide under. So now we're going to go back to the four single crochets. So there's one, there's two, three and four. No, don't lose it, don't lose it. No. Okay, I have to do that one again. <laughs> and then a decrease. So pick up your two front loops, wrap it, back to our singles again, one, two, three, four. okay, just want to make sure. So there is one. And here you should have 15 stitches now. So as you can see, the shape holds pretty well without any um, stuffing because it's not going to get any much, much bigger than this anyways. So um, it holds itself. So if you guys don't have stuffing or if you're running low, you can opt not to put any in this one. Okay, so now what we want to do is for row seven is just single crochets around in the 15 stitches. And then after we've done that, then we can go ahead and just add the beaks, the beak, the wings, and the eyes. So let's do our single crochets. around and 
And we are almost finished. This one's a simple tutorial. Very basic. All right, last one here. And then now what I'm gonna do is just go into the next stitch over and I'm gonna grab a different color band just because we have these wrap bands. And I'm just gonna tie this off for now while I put on the wings and the beak and the eyes. I'm just using a different color band because the wrap bands, I don't want the tying off band to blend in with those. So it's just easier for me to see, you know, where it is. So let's go ahead and grab your wings. Now these wings aren't going to be very visible anyways because they're so small. Um, but they're there, so you can add them on the sides of the body however you like I'm just gonna put them like you know on the sides and you've just got to bring the each end of the band into the inside of the body so under your slip knot just don't let the wing fall off so you can kinda of pinch that so that it stays on so just undo that and then find where you want your wing to go so I'm going to put mine about there and then it gets a little bit tricky when pulling the bands in because you don't want to grab all the wrapped bands. The wrapped bands usually want to come along too but just bring it to the inside. Then once you've got that you can just tie those off in a knot. And then you can do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to undo this one. First, let me figure out where it's going to go. Kind of hard because the wing wants to fly off. Wait, where is... Okay, there it is. Um, 
and just go on the inside and tie those off. And then before you add your eyes, I would recommend putting the beak on first. So really we only have, um, see, we only have about two more rows to do. So I'm going to kind of put my eyes and my beak like in the same area, like in between kind of where the wings are. So I'll probably put my beak like right there and you're going to do it the same way, just going to bring it through some holes in the face. So there's one. And try not to grab all those wrap bands and then you can just tie that together if I can Okay, and then you can choose where you want your eyes to go. So if you're using wrap bands, you can just go ahead and make a cap band with whatever eye color you want and slide it onto a body color band and then you're just going to tie it on the same way that we've been attaching stuff. And if you are using beads, you'll just slide the bead onto the band, the body color band. looks kind of angry little whoop, we don't want it all the way down there maybe yeah we'll just keep him angry He's an angry little birdie <laughs> okay, it looks funny. So once you get your eyes on, I'm using, I have to put the backs of my safety eyes on. These ones are a pain in the butt because they're so small. Safety eyes are so small and like sometimes they like go into the stitch because they're so tiny. But my other ones were just too big for how small this is. Okay, let's see if I can get this on without hurting myself. Oh, there we go. strength here. Okay. There we go. Phew. Okay. So I have my eyes on and that's basically it for <laughs> the body. I mean for the details. Gosh, he looks so angry. It's because of these wrap bands up here. I look kind of like a uh, a brow. So 
If you have like too many rat bands around the eyes, if you want to cut any of them off, you can do that just to clear up some space around the eyes, but I think it looks kind of funny, so I'm just going to keep it angry. Um, so now I am going to do the next row around, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of stuff, it, and then we'll work on closing him up. So take your band off, your tying off band, and then pick up where you last left off. And then stick your C-clip or stitch marker in. And let's continue with the next row. Row 8, we are going to be doing 3 single crochets and then a decrease, and that will give us 12 stitches. So single, 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 and then a decrease. Don't forget to wrap bands. So, single, 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 and then a decrease. Finally found some use for these dual layer yellow bands. I've been kind of afraid to use them, but I thought they'd work out pretty well for this. Okay, back to singles. And they like they work pretty nicely too, like for Lumigarumi. They're not sticky or hard to work with, so that's nice. So there's one. three and then a decrease and once more so ugh. hold on. shall end with a decrease and then I'm going to grab a little bit of stuffing where did I put it? oh here it is this bag of stuffing has lasted me for forever which is good A little bit more. Make him squishy. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> so fluffy. Alright, so now we have 12 stitches, and all we need to do now is just do six decreases so that we end up with six stitches, and then we can close them up. So we just are doing six decreases total, and again, wrap bands. Last row. So here's decrease number one. And decrease number two. And 
three. One more. Six. Now what you want to do is just take another body color band, bring it through this band here, reclaim the other end and tie that into a slip knot. And we're going to take this through, you can see that we still have a gap here, we're going to take it through the top loops of the stitches around. So I'm going to take it through five. So stick your hook through the top loop of the stitch and bring that tying off band through. And then I'm going to go through the next stitch and bring it through. Do the next one, bring it through, through the next one, bring it through, and then through the last one, bring it through, and then you can use your finger to hold it down while you pull that closed or shut. And then we need to tie this in a knot, so I am going to go into a stitch right next to the tying off band, grab this through and then bring this end through the middle of this and I'll use my finger to push it down while I pull that tight and so that's closed off now we can tuck this in and you can let it hang out a little bit if you want because we have all this like fluff going on so it doesn't matter it's not tucked in all the way. And then I'm just going to pull some of this fluff out at the top because it kind of got sunken in a little bit. But yeah, you can just go around and adjust these little things if you'd like. Because sometimes I get like all twisted up and stuff, but. <laughs> Oh my god, he's so funny looking. So here's your little chickadee. Maybe I should add some like angry eyebrows. And your egg. So this egg here is actually smaller than the egg that I originally made. If you can see here. I didn't like how long this one came out. So I actually shortened it in um, the video. So, But he'll still fit in there. You can just stick them in there. He looks so funny. So chubby. And there's a little egg top and you can um, slip knot that onto his head if you want. If not, you can just leave it like that. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed making your little chick and egg and I really want to see them so please post to my Instagram or my Facebook. I always get excited when you guys post stuff and I can comment on them and see how great your creations are turning out. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter on Sunday which is what? what's today? Thursday. So it's Thursday today. In three more days. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. I hope the Easter Bunny brings you lots of candy and cute things. So thank you guys for joining me for another tutorial and I will see you for more later on. Have a wonderful day. Bye.